over a century, Daytona has defined speed, defied danger. A car's out of control. Destination of the daredevil. Cars and their drivers daring to learn about themselves. On these shores, generations have celebrated accomplishments of fearless thrill seeking. The likes of Sir Malcolm Campbell set a world land speed record here of over 300 miles per hour. There were others not so fortunate, though no less brave. Look out! During the 1930s, sand spilled onto the asphalt of A1A as this strip of beach stretched into a four-mile oval. Off the beach, a driver power slid into the north turn onto a hard-top highway. Speed limit as fast as you dare. They came to see us eat sand. Believe me, we ate plenty. Daytona's Bill France, he imagined a future where heroes were forged that would one day race on high-speed, high banks for million-dollar purses. Bill France was also a talent scout, and in his own backyard, he discovered Glenn Roberts, a baseball player named Fireball, from pitching in America's pastime. On the beach or on the pavement, Fireball was a natural. Here's Fireball Roberts, the most famous stock car driver in all the world. This car won the Rebel 300 in Darlington, South Carolina. He won everything in NASCAR, including four events at NASCAR's marquee track, the Daytona International Speedway. This is not just a destination. This is the home of NASCAR. This is where its season starts and where it spends its summer holiday, where generations return together in the stands, in the infield, in competition, where generations have learned the pursuit of happiness is three wide at 200 miles an hour. Sliding and hanging off one another, still in three wide formation. Young stars, once named Allison, Waltrip, Bill Elliott, now have names like Larson, Dylan, Chase Elliott, all striving to become legends like Petty, Pearson, Earnhardt. Daytona is where heroes live. That hometown kid, Fireball Roberts, blazed a trail as NASCAR entered the national scene. And Fireball gets the checkered flag. That year, he beat Richard Petty in the Daytona 500 in this 62 Pontiac. He also bested Arnold Palmer and Wilt Chamberlain as the nation's number one professional athlete. In 64, the 600 miler at Charlotte, that was said to be his next to last race. Destiny decided differently. There is a tremendous black cloud of smoke. It looks like a, a gasoline bomb was dropped back there. The way Roberts lived, drove, and is remembered is how NASCAR's mystique arose. From these grandstands, future stars took note. What makes a driver revered is not who they are, but what they are made of. Defiant to the danger. Unflinching in the climb to conquer Daytona's high banks.